Hey everyone, Corrupt the Circuit here. Today I'm going to cover a basic understanding of the Elgato HD60 Pro and some aspects that can make head spin when first installing it on your PC. So first things first, before buying this product, inform yourself of what it has to offer. Don't be like me, I made a mistake like this when I bought it. Luckily, I can still use it for other reasons and always make sure that the system requirements of your computer are equal or higher than what is needed. If you're a PC buff and love looking at the specs or the technical specifications then this will apply to you. So right now I am capturing not through the card but through OBS I have I have it captured here on the browser so basically what it requires is uh, you need Windows 10 64-bit version of any kind, an Intel HD or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 or an AMD equivalent or better. It also recommends that you have a 4th gen Intel i5 4000 series GPU or anything else that is comparable to it. And lastly the card uh the, the card will require a PCIe slot of either a times 1 through a times 16 it can go into any of them in between with no issues also it has to be noted that if you do use this capture card in windows 7 8 or 8.1 it will be incompatible whether it runs or not depends but for the same reason that there is no drivers for those OS's, you might not be able to use the card at all. Anyways, once the card is in place, you'll need the prerequisite driver software. So basically, in this case, uh, you're going to be capturing between any, any, uh, anywhere from 480 up to 10, 1080p 60 frames. The software you will need for this is the Game Capture HD software that Elgato has in their website. So you basically come to this site and it'll have everything you need. Like I'll basically explain all the stuff about the card. So you can shop for it here. Um, you can check out other products they have as well. And you can go to downloads. Downloads is where you would get the software. So basically just select the products of this case HD60 Pro and obviously for Windows uh, they have it for Mac as well and since it is the HD60 Pro the one you're going to be using is the game capture now if you're going to want to be capturing on 4k of any kind you would go either with the 4k 60s plus or the 4k 60 Pro now from here once you have the game capture HD software installed we can go ahead and move on to the actual program which I'm not sure if it's gonna pop up or not but basically first thing you have to notice is right here if the feature is already disabled on mine but when you first install this program and it runs there'll be a timer here and it goes it goes up from zero uh, you know up to an, an indefinite amount as long as you have a storage space so from here it goes up and then your storage will go down so it's actively using your storage as a as as a like a basically like a background recording which obviously you don't want if you're using software like OBS or XPlay you know whatever it is that you're using you don't want it to be recording twice and just using up more space than what you need so you're gonna come here to the top right to where it says game capture HD preferences and on this first tab on the capture tab you can set the location for the videos of where 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 the library of your videos is gonna be where it's where it's going to export the videos and if you take any screenshots where you want the screenshots to go now if you want this solution down here to go away then you disable 
this option right here that says flashback recording you disable that and also for the most part if you're going to be recording and streaming using different software then you don't really want this stream command like you don't you you're not going to use it though for uh, i'll save it for another video if you're going to be recording and streaming from the elgato game capture hd software i'll save it for another time but basically these two options just disable them everything else is self-explanatory sharing you know uh, wherever you want to share this you know you can you can choose um what to export you know the audio the sound capture etc updates self-explanatory hotkeys so, uh, you can set it up however you wish as long as it doesn't interfere with hotkeys other global hotkeys of of different programs and advanced is basically your decoder and, and encoder so in this case it, you can either pick your your GPU whatever GPU you have installed on your computer or integrated graphics in the in either Intel's HD integrated graphics or if you have an AMD APU then this will pop up here too and if you want to use the CPU you can use the built-in setting which it's you can just leave it on automatic and then from here you just set it to highest quality if you are going to be streaming or recording from this which we're not so we can ignore that from here the device area is where you want to move to next so from here uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set this up for capturing other PCs so basically you would go here to PC now the video input by default is going to be HDMI because that is the display ports that are on, that are on this capture card the audio input always make sure it's on HDMI audio you can have it pick up your microphone and such with a different program or just through the background now color range doesn't really matter but if you want it to be a little bit more vivid and to have more like a more of a vibrance to the picture then you can go hit expanded otherwise you can leave it on standard the profile is self-explanatory um, this is basically you know like if you wanted to have it recording mobile or just standard standard I guess would be like 480p I'm not sure then you have your your low quality HD which is 720p and then and then uh, your normal standard as it is now your high def 1080 from here the quality always leave it up to best so just leave the slider all the way to the right and if you are going to be recording and streaming on 60 frames what uh, whatever it is is capturing if you want a 60 frames just make sure you check this if not you can leave it disabled um, whether it's on PC or other or on if you have the other input device selected you'll have an extra cropping uh, selection but for the most part you won't need that now once you have on once you have it set to PC the convert standard and the stretch standard definition input settings you can leave them unchecked the picture tab is self-explanatory if you want to you know adjust how the capture looks before it's sent off to OBS or you know exploit what have you you can adjust it here profiles is the same thing as the profiles in the capture but this is basically a customizable version so you can tweak it to something specific that you want to have it captured to which I, I I think it basically just lets you specifically pick the ranges of what resolutions it can capture. From here, you would press OK to accept all the settings and save them. Live streaming, uh, you won't really have to worry about it on this video. Game audio is basically any audio that's being received from the H HDMI input that the capture card is receiving. So from here, usually I have it here like around 25 to 30 because the receiving audio is played on your headset or whatever output you have selected for your main computer that you have this set up on. So the audio will be pretty loud. So, you know, just lower it to however you see fit. I'm gonna leave mine at 30. Um, 
live commentary, uh, basically, you know, you can have a whole separate microphone dedicated to this. But, you know, like, I'm, like I said before, if you have OBS or XSplit, you don't really have to worry about this. So you can just minimize these. Same thing with the sound capture. Tags, this is all for live streaming. We don't have to worry about this either. Now from here, we are basically done with this tutorial. Now, if you want a preview, you can enable the preview. So right now it's enabled, but there's nothing kicking up. So to test this out, I'm gonna turn on my laptop, which the capture card is currently gonna be receiving input from. So it should show the feed of my laptop on here but for the most part it might not just you know because it's being dumb but for the most part you should be receiving input of whatever your HDMI is plugged into so in this case it's not because it's I haven't configured it but for the most part, it's going to kick up right now once it logs in. So I, I guess either right now when it reaches the login screen or when I, when I set it up properly on this laptop. But basically, that is really it with this setup. You don't really have to do anything extravagant after here it works so I'm just gonna give it a bit to have this capture come in and kick up but basically just one other thing to keep in mind uh, I'll show it here real quick on this recording as well so right here this is basically my OBS I stream on Twitch so that's why you see my whole Twitch notifications and all that but basically from here uh, you have these sources now when you add the the capture card as a source it's gonna come with its own audio like like my microphone and the desktop audio does right now so basically when it pops up like I, like I was telling you when you have the game capture HD software up, it's it's already receiving audio from that other computer automatically. Now, if you don't want that, then basically either you mute it here, which preferably don't because you want you want this audio to come up anyway so you can hear it whether you have it on your your primary headset your secondary what have you you want it to come up on this now over here on this case let's say it was active then if it was active and it was picking up right here on my display then the audio would be coming through here so this is what I'm saying you disable it here so you don't have the audio being captured twice because then it could either echo I mean not really it wouldn't echo because it's not being picked up by your microphone but still you don't want it catching twice so just mute it here through OBS and from here you should be set so real quick I am going to I am going to show you guys a capture not of a PC but of my GameCube that I have set up just to show you guys how this would work since my laptop just decided to do some Windows updates right now but basically the way I have my GameCube capturing at the moment is I have a AV to HDMI converter plugged in and this is this screen that pops up so from here depending on which one you have I think most of them are the same it lets you pick uh, it, it, it lets you pick up a, a varying degree of different resolutions it outputs to so I think the default is either like 360 or 480 or somewhere around there it's it's a 4 by 3 but it converts it to a 16 by 9 output 
so from here you can choose either 720 or 1080 which I think for this for this current boot up that I'm going to test right now it's on 720 but basically once it captures it fine then you can turn on whatever device it's capturing and as you can see right here it's capturing my GameCube just fine and then you know whatever game that was on there it picks it up so you know we're just going to test it out it was going to be a it was going to be a PC capture but basically it's the same thing like like when when you set up the capture card on the on the back side where it has the ports it has an in and out so basically in is whatever whatever device you're going to be capturing and then out is whatever whatever display output you want to set it to so either like if 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 you're just going to be capturing it from your your computer and then streaming it from there directly then you don't have to worry about the out option you can just worry about the in option now the out option is basically if you're going to be capturing uh, a different computer directly where on my case since it was capturing a laptop i only have to worry about the in option but with this one if you're going to be capturing from a whole different computer like uh, like a whole different tower itself then the in option would be your computer and then uh the out option would be your monitor so from there it, it would just be uh on the secondary computer that you're capturing it's either plugged in on the motherboard if you know in the case that it has integrated graphics or it would be plugged up to your secondary computer's graphics card so that way if you have that installed on the secondary computer it picks it up but from here it's basically the same thing you're you are basically done so right here you know i have the game set up and it captures completely fine i've streamed from my gamecube before but basically that is it guys for this tutorial um like I said, if you want a guide on how to set up the actual Game Capture HD software to record or stream, let me know on the comments of this video once it's up. Any feedback is appreciated. This is basically one of my first times doing a tutorial video, so if anything seems off or if I haven't explained anything completely right, let me know and I'll redo it or I'll come out with a new video for the uh, game capture HD setups but from here I'll bid you guys farewell and like always thank you guys so much for watching I'm not gonna tell you guys to subscribe or like or any or anything like that uh, if you if you feel like it it's up to you but until then peace out everyone thank you so much for stopping by and watching and until then I'll see you guys next time